Hello everyone, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC. And welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, get your coffee, get your tea, get your wine, get your snacks. It's gonna be a good one. I know you all love when I take you on my fashion shoots. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. It's bright and early. I'm gonna meet my photographer, Maria, in the Miami Design District. And I think we're gonna shoot like four looks. Two of the looks I wanna go live during my birthday week. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna knock that out, get that out of the way. There's quite a few things I need to do before I head to LA. There will be a new LA vlog coming soon. I'm heading there to shoot my collection with Sanji, something by Sanji Maru Steel collaboration dropping on May 19th, size inclusive. We have dresses, we have skirts, we have all the things and we're gonna shoot it in the desert. Ah, it's gonna be so good. Of course, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I have myself a coffee. This is the Dolce from Nespresso. It's my favorite double espresso. I put a little bit of oat milk in here and also some uh, caramel, like creme brulee syrup, just a little bit. It is delicious and Lord knows I need the caffeine. I have on a pretty basic face. I'm gonna amp it up just a little bit, a little more eyeshadow, a bright red lip uh, before I pack up all the looks that I'm gonna shoot and catch a car to meet Maria. Um, I'm in my Skims house dress, my favorite one, wearing a medium. But yeah, I'm very excited to shoot some of my birthday content. Uh, I have to get it out of the way because I will be doing quite a bit of traveling the next few weeks. Next week, I'm heading to LA. As soon as I leave LA, I'm heading right back to New York. I have some jobs there and a few events. And then right after that, I'm heading back to Miami for my actual birthday, my yacht day. Um, and then I may, there's a chance I might go to Morocco at the end of the month. And if not Morocco, then uh, Mexico. So a lot of travel, May is gonna be a super busy month. By the way, this is Makeup Forever, blush. Just gotta amp it up a little bit since this is like birthday photos. But yeah. It's gonna be a fun vlog. And of course, y'all know everything is linked down below. Okay, and if you're new here, subscribe. I'm trying to get my numbers up, you guys. Where is, oh, it's, it's here. I can never find it. By the way, this palette from Dior Beauty is definitely in my top two palettes of all time. I'll link it down below. You can use my code STILL23, all capital letters, for a free gift with purchase when you spend over, over $150 or $150 at Dior Beauty. I'll link a few of my favorites down below. By the way, their Mother's Day packaging. Let me show you. How beautiful is this? Look at the Dior Mother's Day, like, May packaging. Stunning. So if you're looking for a really great gift to get your mother or a mother figure in your life or yourself, I'll link a few amazing gift sets. Most of them are under like $120 from Dior. They come packaged beautifully. You get a beautiful box. You get a two free gifts with purchase and an extra gift if you use my code. You do have to create an account at Dior Beauty though, which is very easy. Just put in your name, your email. You probably want to do it anyway so you can get, you know, steady offers from Dior. But excellent for Mother's Day. All right, I'll link a few of my favorite sets down below and just things that I use on a regular basis from Dior Beauty like this eyeshadow palette, which is just incredible, perfect for spring, especially these colors. And I love the little uh, white and this has sort of like a champagne color, so good for the corners of the eyes. All right guys, I am running very late. I'm always running late. So let's get to it. All right guys, so these are the looks I'm shooting. I'm shooting this Michael Kors look, this and other stories pink bubble dress, and this dress, I believe this is from Fool Me The Label as well. I have all of my accessories packed into this Loewe basket bag that is huge. I'll link this down below, I love this thing. I can fit so much in there. Um, and then I'm wearing, I'm starting with this look, which is uh, Victor Glamod, Black Owned Business. I got this dress from hfrandco.com, Harlem's Fashion Road and co.com, where you can shop all black designers in one place. 
you just find what you're looking for click the link it'll take you to wherever that place is online so i think it's so incredible i'll put the website down below so you can check it out but this dress so good i have to shoot it i wore it in the one of my previous vlogs so yeah if you watch that day with me vlog you've already seen this so yeah my uber's already here uh so let's go shoot the life very eventful shoot at Miami Design District. It rained, but we still managed to shoot three looks. I'm gonna save this dress, which is technically my birthday dress, and I'm going to shoot this in New York. So that'll be in another vlog. So I really needed this to be shot like outside instead of like under something, which is how we had to shoot everything else. So we started off shooting this Victor Glamide dress that I have on. And then we moved on to my full Michael Kors look. I don't know if you guys remember this, uh, but I took you with me when Michael Kors had a pop-up in Miami Beach and I went and I bought this. Um, I'm actually doing some work with them in New York soon uh, around Mother's Day. So yeah, look out for that. And then finally, we shot this beautiful dress from Fumi the label. This beautiful brown knit dress. Oh, uh, it's so good. And I'm pretty sure you can like flip it inside out as well so you can see more of the burgundy. But yeah, I've linked everything down below that I shot today. And now it's about 1.30. I'm going to 
put on my house dress, clean up because there's clothes everywhere. I need to go through my email. And then I'm gonna show you guys some new end items that I got from brands. I just got something really cute. Uh, and I think it's like a cake. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I have some beauty products and so many beauty products. So if you're looking for new beauty products and makeup, I'm gonna show you guys that. And oh, also I went to an event in the previous vlog with Nest NYC. You know Nest, they have candles, diffusers, uh, perfumes. I went to the owner's home in Palm Beach and had a beautiful dinner. If you didn't watch that day with me vlog, you gotta go back and watch it. But they sent me a, a big bag of stuff home. And I showed a little bit of it in the previous vlog, but not everything. So we'll go around, we'll place all of the candles in my home. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Oh no, tonight we're going to the opening of Pastis. <laughs> If you live in New York, you know that there is the this French restaurant. It's called Pastis. It's in the Meatpacking District, like right next to Hermes, right across the street from like our RH rooftop. Well, they're coming to Miami and they're coming to Wynwood of all places. And they're having their grand opening tonight. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to that. And then that'll be it for today. This weekend is gonna be pretty chill. I don't have anything planned, I don't think. Maybe we will do a Soho House Beach Day if the weather is good. Definitely gonna get some biking in. I'm gonna take you guys with me on a bike ride, uh, some exercising in. And other than that, just preparing for my upcoming LA trip. All right, so clean up, clean up. Everybody, let's clean up. room which just means I can work with a clearer head uh, so yesterday I went to this great event with nest fragrances and just in case you missed out on that vlog they gifted me with the Indian Jasmine perfume oil and I've been wearing it ever since I mean it's only been a day but I definitely wore it today and I got so many compliments it's an oil it comes with a little medicine dropper I just put a, a little drop on my wrist on my neck Oh, it smells so good and it's very long wearing and I think that's because it's an oil and it's pretty concentrated. If you love like a beautiful feminine fragrance, definitely check out uh, the Nest New York Indian Jasmine Perfume Oil. I'm definitely getting more into oils and we'll be trying more of, of theirs. They sent me a ton of candles. I showed you guys most of them. In the last video, I didn't show you this, which is a reed diffuser. And y'all know I love a reed diffuser. I actually have some from Margella Replica. Uh, so, so good. But I feel like reed diffusers really disperse the scent um, versus a candle. I mean, candles work well too, but the reed diffusers, uh, look how stunning this is, first of all. It comes in this little raffia case that you can always like use for something else. This fragrance is wild mint and eucalyptus. Oh, so good. And of course it comes with the little reed sticks, which are black. So aesthetic, like beautiful for the home. So I got that as well. I'm gonna go and find a home for just some of these things, I already have a ton of candles all over the house. You guys know I love the, what's it called? August and Pierce, the Muse candle. If I was a candle, I would be Muse. Because I feel like I'm a Muse. That part. Uh, one of the candles is downstairs, so I'll show you that one. I have the white tea and rosemary tea light set. We're not gonna pull this out yet because I feel like I wanna use this when I have like a little party, a little housewarming or something like that. That There's small little tea lights that I can light and I can put them in these cool little 
uh, porcelain bowls that come with. Oh, this smells so good. What fragrance? White tea and rosemary. Let me tell you, Ness knows how to put a fragrance together. I don't think I showed this one. This is the white tea and rosemary deluxe candle. I think I want to save this one. Ooh, look at the jar. You guys know how I feel about just a white porcelain ceramic jar. Beautiful. And then once it's done, you can put a flower in this. You can use it to put things in, which is what I love. Oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna leave this out because I wanna find some place around the house to put it. Um, I also got two of these raffia candles, the white wild mint and eucalyptus. And this wild mint and eucalyptus is definitely giving like zen, super zen very light and airy again comes in this little raffia that you can can yeah you could take the candle out if you don't want that but again you could use this for something cool this goes with the vibe in my house for sure so i'm gonna find a place for this and i think that's it the other candle i showed you guys in the last videos so let's go find a place for these candles and i'll show you where i put i got a really big one this one it came in this um it's meant for outside but it's raining today so i'm gonna leave it in indoors until like i actually go outside and have like a little gathering around my patio where i can light it outside but it's supposed to help with like bugs all right let's go so as you can see here in this little stairwell i already put one of the nest candles this is the wild mint and eucalyptus this is the bigger size let me turn up the light this one is a little smaller and this one is the big one but i like it here i had a different candle here and i don't ever light it because it's so fragrant like i never had to light it and it just makes this whole area and the stairwell smell incredible and i really like how this raffia looks with what I have going on here. So when I'm coming up the steps, I'm just very zen. You know, I have my pompous, I have my monstera leaf, I have my raffia candle, and it's just super cute. And it really kind of meshes well with this wall art that I got from Amazon. So right now I just have this smaller one and this one. Let's find somewhere to put them. I already have a candle here and a reed diffuser from Replica. So maybe I'll just save my other reed diffuser until these are done and then I'll put that here. I actually already have a mini candle over there. It's Dior. Um, and I don't like to smell things when I go to sleep. So I don't think next to my bed will be good, but maybe inside this little closet. And then around here, I already have one of my Muse candles, but it's almost done. Um, this is the Muse candle by August and Pierce. This is my favorite candle. I love the scent. So maybe when this one is done, I'll replace it with this one. So for now, I'm just going to keep this maybe here in the bookshelf so that it's already ready to go when this candle is done. That's about done too. Oh, this smells so good. So now I just have this one to find a place for. Yeah, maybe inside this closet because then it'll give this closet a really nice smell. So I do keep laundry down here um, and I keep like the perfumes that I like to wear mostly to sleep down here as well. Um, all my lotions, I have so many y'all. <laughs> I have so many. One day I'm going to go through all of my beauty products. Let me know if you guys want a full on beauty video like make skincare, body care, uh, all the body things because I have so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I'll put it in here because this raffia will kind of match here. So I don't know. It's not really giving. Let's find some place maybe here. So I always keep this magazine here. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't really liking how that was looking either. So we're gonna head downstairs. Even though I have quite a bit of candles still here, 
This one is almost burnt out. Again, I have another Muse candle here, but this one is literally almost done. So I think when this one is done, I'll just switch it to this one. And in the meantime, I'll just put this in my drawer of candles. Yes, I have a drawer of candles. I'm an adult and I like candles, what can I say? So in here, I have a spare beauty drawer, which I really need to go through because there's so much in here that I don't even remember. <laughs> But I have a spare Muse candle here. I also have a hotel lobby candle back here. Who knows what other stuff I have in here, but I'm just gonna pop this in here until it's needed. But this drawer, when I open it, my God, it smells incredible. But this is where I keep all my extra beauty products because I get so many. I have an overflow. This one is actually pretty empty. So yeah. Now this is the outside candle that I got from Ness and a gift last night as well. But, and I just ended up putting it here. It is a five wick and it's meant to be burned outside. So like, I'm gonna leave it here because I like how it looks on this CB2 table. I'll link the table down below. It's just a behind the couch table. It goes the length of my sofa that is from Lulu and Georgia. But yeah, it looks really great there. Before, I didn't have anything. And I mean, that's cute too, but this will be nice because right that way out the door is my patio. And so I have a table on my patio. I also have like a coffee table on my patio. So when I'm out there hanging out with friends and it's later in the evening, I can burn this outside and then easily just bring it right back in. So yeah, I'll link all of the Nest products down below. Okay, so in addition to the Nest things, I have so many beauty products. Uh, I have some Fenty, I have some Lancome, some Kiehl's. So let's do a quick beauty haul and show you guys what's new when it comes to makeup, skincare, and beauty products. All right guys, next up, The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary products. In fact, most of my skincare routine is um, made up of The Ordinary. It's very, very effective, it's potent, it's natural, and it's affordable. You can find it at Sephora, but they just came out literally like yesterday with a new glycolipid cream cleanser. If you wear any makeup, if you put anything on your face other than like serums, creams, moisturizers, and even then, you need to cleanse your face every day. Now for me, what I found really works with my skin is triple, sometimes quadruple cleansing. I have a uh, oil cleanser that I start with. I have a cream cleanser. I have a foaming cleanser. And then I have a cleanser that does more than just cleanse. Like uh, I have a glycolic um, kind of like enzyme peel cleanser and I always use that last. And then I go in with my serums and things and they really seep into my face. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a full beauty. You know what? I'm going to do a beauty video. All beauty. Skincare, makeup, face. That's going to be the next video for sure. But they came out with this glycolipid cream cleanser. And I believe it's $12. I've already used it twice. It's incredible. Okay. It doesn't strip your face. It really gets the makeup off. Um, yeah, and I love it. They said that it's good to use it as a double cleanser. So I already told y'all I don't just double cleanse. I, I cleanse until my skin is clean. <laughs> but with this, this doesn't like strip your skin. So I'm really, really excited for this product. I've added it to my um, three, sometimes four step cleansing when I'm taking off my makeup and it works so well. So I'll link this down below, The Ordinary, check them out. Next up, I have some makeup and beauty faves from Fenty. I love Fenty Beauty. This is the new Gloss Bomb Heat in the color Glass Slipper. Um, I've been saying this all over TikTok, all over social media, get it before it sells out because y'all know how the girls do. It's just a lip plumping clear gloss and i mean it's decadent you guys see it it's so 
good. I mean, it's just like their regular glosses, but this is a lip, lip plumper as well as a gloss. I get so much satisfaction from how good this is. I'll link this down below. Again, cop yourself one before it sells out because it will sell out. That's just the name of the game when it comes to Fenty. Uh, but it is a lip plumper, so if that's not your thing, hmm. But I'm in it for the gloss, to be honest. I've seriously become a gloss girl. And next up, we have the Fenty Skin Thick and Smooth Rich Peptide Eye Cream. I have added eye creams to my like skincare routine. It took a while, but I realized I should start now while I really don't have any under eye problems so that I can prevent having them. You know, it's the luck of the draw. Uh, so what I love about this packaging, I don't know if you guys can see, focus. Look how cute this packaging is. So this is the top. The bottom, you can twist. You guys hear that? You twist the bottom until a little bit comes out the top. Just a, just a tiny bit is all you need. And then you go in. Like I have on makeup, so I'm not gonna put this on. But it feels very creamy, very rich, and a little bit cooling when I just put it on my finger, like so. And it gives it just a tiny sheen. It's not greasy. You guys see that it's not greasy or anything it's super light and i've used this once um usually it's like the final step of like my skincare like nighttime routine but you could definitely put this on before makeup as well and it reduces wrinkles <laughs> that's what it does it improves the skin texture around the eyes reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles for renewed skin and I mean, it's given still in my 20s. I mean, to be honest, I don't really have any fine lines. I have laugh lines, but it's because I laugh. Like, I don't want to look like I don't have them. It's always weird when people start, like, talking about aging and things. I don't know. But also, I don't have any, uh, what are these called? Forehead lines? Or f furrow lines, really? And I don't... <laughs> Thank God for good jeans. And also my skincare routine, because I think my skincare routine is what's keeping me young. So y'all better look out for the video so I can give y'all the tea. And sometimes it's not even about what you put on your body, but in your body. And I'll touch on that too in the video as well. Fenty Peptide Eye Cream. Get into it. Next up, I got some products from Kiehl's. Love my Kiehl's family. Um, and they sent over their brand new Rare Earth Deep Pore Minimizing Polishing Powder Cleanser. Now, I didn't know they made powder cleansers, but this is incredible. It has Amazonian white clay, alpha hydroxy acids for normal to oily skin. Again, this is a cleanser, cleanses your face, gets all the impurities out, takes off your makeup, all the things but it's waterless, so it's just a powder. So what you do is you apply just a, a drop or two of the powder to already wet hands. So like wash your hands, get your hands just a little bit wet, and then put this in your palm, mix it together, and it'll create a foam, and then you cleanse. And the reason why they came out with this is so it's made with 2% like less water. So you're conserving water. And Kiehl's is all about being a sustainable brand. I love that about them. Um, they really think about what they put into the world and uh, how to reduce their carbon footprint. And I think that's great. I have to use this <laughs> to see how it works, but what an incredible invention. Um, so yeah, they also sent over the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this mask. The Amazonian White Clay really purifies your skin. It's such a good mask. One of my favorites, I would say my top three favorite mask, this one. Also, if I have a pimple and it's trying to come to a head, I take a little bit of this, which I actually did last night, which is why this is already open. I take a little bit of this rare earth mask. I put it right on the pimple. I leave it overnight. 
it'll dry that pimple out so quick and it will bring the pimple to a head this stuff is it's great it's great <laughs> top three masks that i've ever used and will never stop using because it works uh so that is the rare earth deep pore cleansing mask you can also just mask with it normally for like i think what five to ten minutes take it off it cleanses your skin purifies your skin minimizes pores which i used to have a problem with but i no longer do because of a very special product i've been using watch the beauty video for the tips but shout out to kills i'll link both of these products below in case you want to try the powder cleanser it is a powder and the my favorite mask one of my favorite masks out there the deep um pore cleansing mask great for pimples as well all right guys i might be most excited about this youth to the people sent me an entire like collection of products look at this box all the things are in there literally all the things the hydrate and glow essentials uh pro grade vegan no animal testing i love their products so let's get into what they sent me uh we have the kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser where they just use superfoods in the products to cleanse your skin all natural 100 percent vegan uh, this is great if you're looking for like clean skincare use to the people is where it's at and i'm in the process of like switching over everything to clean um either clean vegan uh, materials including my makeup my skincare as much clean products as possible so this is great that they sent this over we have the triple peptide and cactus oasis serum which plumps firms and hydrates we have the retinol and niacinamide youth serum niacinamide if you don't have that in your skincare routine you're not you're not doing it right i've seen a complete change in my skin just from using one niacinamide product we'll get into that in the next video but clean incredible we have the moisture cream with kale spinach hyaluronic acid another big one you need keeping your skin youthful uh super berry dream mask purifying power mask and yerba mate resurfacing energy facial like they sent me all the things so yeah extremely excited for all of these clean products i'll link them all below in case any of you are interested definitely let's see i'm probably most excited about the youth serum like i said niacinamide mm, it's it's a miracle worker as well as hyaluronic acid so i only have one face and so many products so we'll see how it goes so you guys know i love laura mercier's powders that's usually what i use um on top of my moisturizer um, my tinted moisturizer and they sent over the real flawless luminous perfecting pressed powder just for me they're always great with a handwritten note a little card that tells you what's inside i already love laura mercier's like powder so if this is something new which it is i am gagged they have the best pressed powders in the world Okay, they sent me my color translucent deep i am intrigued let's open it up yeah do you see how beautiful that is i already know this is going to be my go-to i already know this is going to be my go-to when i'm having a shiny moment when i want to top off my makeup and refresh this is going to be the girl omg i'm telling you laura mercier does the best powders the best and let's see what they have here because they have a few uh yeah offered in four translucent translucent shades real flawless weightless perfecting foundation i'm gonna use this the next time i do my makeup let me show you what i normally use okay so let's go to my makeup drawer you guys have seen my makeup drawer i just reorganized it <clears throat> 
So normally for my foundation, I use Beauty Counter, which is clean makeup. It also has SPF in it. It's just a tinted moisturizer with barely anything in it. And then I'll top it off with the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. This powder is what gives me a glow, gives me kind of a matte look, even though the shine, the dewiness of the beauty counter kind of shines through. This is what gives me super flawless looking skin. So this is a loose powder that I put on top of my tinted moisturizer, but now they have the pressed powder. So I feel like I can finish off my look with this. Like once my makeup is done, I can do a once over with the pressed powder and then it's set. Laura Mercier just gets me. I love their products. All right, y'all, so that's it for now. I'm gonna find a home for all of these products. I'm gonna break down all these boxes. Um, I have a little bit of time, not a little bit. Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.42 p.m. Okay, so it's it's almost three. Um, I don't have to be to this uh, Pastis Grand opening event till 7.30, so I have quite a bit of time. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna relax. And I'll check back in with you guys before I head to the grand opening. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear tonight, um, but it'll be something pretty chill, I believe, because it's been raining all day. All right, guys, I'll link all of those products down below. Look out for my skincare, makeup, body care video, because now I feel like inspired to do that. And I'll check in with you guys soon. Someone just text me. I wonder if it's my view. Hey y'all, so a lot has happened in like the 10 minutes <laughs> since I stopped filming. So let me show you what I just got in the mail. Look at this stunning bouquet of flowers. They are so beautiful. I love all of these colors. Okay, so this is from my friends over at Captivate, uh, which is what I do my Zara ambassadors at my Zara ambassadorship through. Sorry, I just got a text. Um, and the note just says, congratulations on reaching the incredible milestone of $100,000 in sales. Your hard work and dedication make you an exceptional ambassador and we feel extremely lucky to have you. The Captivate Creator Success Team. Oh my God. I can't believe I made $100,000 in sales. Like I kind of can believe it. And I started really going hard on like the Zara links, maybe in January. So it didn't take me long either. Uh, and I didn't have to like buy a ton of stuff. I just was re-wearing the things that I got, making sure that I showed them right away, linked them in YouTube videos. And it really worked. I'm really happy. And these are so beautiful. I have to find somewhere nice to put them maybe here oh <laughs> i also got another beauty packaging y'all i stay beautied down the brands are into beauty so i'm becoming a beauty girl because clearly it pays uh but to celebrate queen charlotte of bridgerton they sent me like a bridgerton theme <laughs> things this is the Royal Celebration Tea, the Young King and Queen. I love a good tea. Uh, this is Fall in Love with the Fruity Decadent Flavor of Lively Black Tea. Mm, so they sent me some tea and then they sent me this little beautiful like royal, like come on and focus, royal like burgundy bag of goodies. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is Elemis Queen Charlotte Bridgerton Story. And here is what is in here. Pro Collagen Rose face, Facial Oil, Marine Cream, Rose Cleansing Balm, and then of course you get the velvet bag. Oh, there's some pearl hairpins in here too. How cute, and it has a little pearl here. Elvis always does like the cutest little things. Oh, here are the hairpins. You guys see them? <laughs> that is too cute. And then all of my Pro collagen favorites from Elemis. All of the rose ones, which makes sense. We have the rose cleansing balm and the rose marine cream. It's like a wrinkle cream. 
I'll link it all down below. And then we have this, the Rose Facial Oil. I don't really know if I like facial oils because I'm already oily, but yeah. Shout out to them for sending this, super cute. Now, I did forget <laughs> to show you guys what I got in from Hydra Facial. It's their birthday. And they sent me something perishable. Like when I got home yesterday, it was outside and it was like take out and uh, refrigerate immediately. So Hydra Facial, I actually went and got a facial from them during Art Basel. So if you missed that vlog, go back and check it out. The facial was so good. Um, and it was really, really great. So it is their birthday and it's my birthday almost too. So they sent me a treat. So this is Hydra Facial. I'll link them down below if you're looking for a really good facial. Um, I believe they have like studios all over. So let me get it out of the refrigerator. Okay. And it's big too, you guys. Ugh. And it's heavy. Look at this. Okay, so this is Hydra Facial, Hydra Facial Birthday. And I think this is a cake. It's from Flower Shop. And this box is big. I'm like, should I save this for my birthday or will it <laughs> get, will it go bad by then? Let's open this bad boy up. All right, the ribbon is off. Oh my God. They <laughs> sent me a huge cake. Oh, it's huge. How do I even get it out? Oh, it comes down, it comes down. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Can you guys see it? You know the hydrofacial is blue? This is crazy. I cannot believe they sent me a cake. Let, let me show you. I mean, wow. I'm sure it tastes delicious. I wonder what kind of cake it is. Um, is. I'm not gonna open this tonight because I don't want cake <laughs> today. But, oh, this can be my birthday cake. Oh, shout out to Hydra Facial. Thank you guys so much for sending this. This is so sweet and thoughtful. And thank you also to my family over at Captivate. This is really sweet. It makes me feel super duper special. Like, yeah. I'm telling y'all, it's just moments like this that just warm my heart. Like, really someone thought to send me a cake and flowers? Like they didn't have to do that at all, but I'm very, very grateful and very thankful and just very blessed to be able to do this job. Like this job has changed my life. It's really changed my life. I'm really, I really feel I'm living in my purpose and doing what I'm supposed to do in life. And like, I feel like God's hand is just on me. God, God got me covered. And I mean covered from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. And it feels really, really good, you guys. Oh, I wish I could just take this feeling that I feel right now and just sprinkle it all over <laughs> everyone who supports me because y'all keep me going. Uh, but yes, hard work, paying off. Feel really great about doing $100,000 in sales in just a few months is bonkers. I mean, it just means you guys really trust my judgment and you really support me and you are the things that i'm showing are they're resonating with you all and i love that like i love that i'm providing some kind of value like let's be real influencing is not uh you're not i don't want to say you're not saving lives or it's not that deep um when it comes to purpose i definitely felt more purpose driven when i was like helping people in a traditional sense such as being a physical therapist, I still am a physical therapist, but like helping someone to walk again is a different kind of purpose. <laughs> but I get reminded every now and then that just by being myself and just by sharing my life, that that's helping some of you through really dark times and also giving you guys the courage to create the life that you want for yourself because this is it, this is all we got. And so why not, why not go for it? And so I've gone off on a tangent. I've gotten emotional, <laughs> but y'all seem to love when I get emotional. I be in my feelings all the time. I do, I'm a Taurus. You know, we be in our feelings. We not, we only gonna be in our feelings for a little bit and we are normally not gonna show it um, and we'll forget you really quickly. But <laughs> you know, 
yeah i feel really really blessed um i'm gonna pour myself a drink i'm gonna sit out on my patio i'm going to relax i'm gonna put this cake back in the fridge because i definitely want to get a little photo for instagram and shout them out for that in addition to this video and uh i'll check back in with you guys in a bit when we're heading to the pastis grand opening all right it's not a game it's a red stick. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of the vlog. Um, I nor normally don't speak to you all when I'm looking like this, but I decided that instead of doing a separate like beauty, workout, skincare video, I'm just gonna include it in this video, and that's what we're doing all today. I get so many questions about my workout routine. I do not have a gym membership. I work out at home via Zoom. There's a Zoom class that my good friend Gloria, Life with Glory B on Instagram and YouTube, has been teaching since the pandemic um, when everyone was in lockdown and I needed to work out and I also just needed some kind of camaraderie because I was in the home in my house alone. Um, I would join these workout classes with her. Actually, it was just me and her. We would just work out together for 30 minutes, an hour, every other day and I told her that she should start a class <laughs> and she did and she's been doing it ever since uh, she has trained hundreds of people all over the world uh, so we have classes almost five days a week um, during the week the classes are 30 minutes long super quick get in and out work the whole body some days more cardio focused some days more strength focused um, and then on the weekends, we do hour long classes. Uh, so that is what I do. I normally work out three times a week for 30 minutes to an hour. Lately, I've been doing one hour workouts three times a week. And when I say I work out, I'm not doing like, I'm not on machines, you guys saw kind of like a compilation of the exercises I'm doing. I'm jumping, I'm squatting, I'm lifting. My weight is 15 pounds. That's normally what I stick around. Um, I do a lot of legs. I do a lot of glutes. We do a lot of, <laughs> y'all saw, we do a lot um, in that hour. And I am sweaty, a <laughs> sweaty mess. Um, and so yeah, that's normally what I do three times a week. If I don't work out with her, I'll just do my own workout. I've been working out with her so long that like I know what exercises to do. I also have an exercise and sports physiology degree. I also have a doctor, <laughs> a doctorate in physical therapy. So I know a lot about working out with muscles to work to grow certain parts and things like that. So yeah, I'm really getting my body toned and ready for my birthday. So if you want to join our classes, you have to DM her on Zoom or at her in a comment because sometimes she doesn't get to all of her DMs or just go on YouTube and her video, leave a message or a comment on one of her videos to join the classes. There is a small fee. It's either five or ten dollars a class. You can pay up front for the month as well. She also records most of the classes. So if you're like out of town or somewhere where you can't access Zoom, um, there are recordings that you can watch uh, to just work out. So that is how I keep my body toned. In addition to working out three times a week for an hour, doing all of the exercises you just saw me do, um, I also have a bike. Uh, and I bike about 50 miles a week. I try and get out on my bike at least three times a week. Usually I do about 20 miles each time. And yeah, a lot of people have been asking what bike I have. I went through that in a previous video, but it really doesn't matter the kind of bike you get. You should probably go to your local bike store and be fitted for a bike, which is what I did. I tried out several bikes. There was not one that was recommended. 
I got on, I, they let me out into the street and I rode all the like three different bi bikes I tried out. And the one that I picked is a hybrid bike, meaning I can bike on the road, I can bike on the boardwalk. Uh, and that's normally where I bike. So depending on where you live and where you're going to be riding your bike, that depends on what kind of bike you should get. And I'm not an expert. Please don't ask me anything about bikes. I have only been biking for about a year now and I'm a newbie. Uh, so your best bet is to go to your local bike shop and be fitted for a bike. There are certain heights to bikes and if you're tall, you're gonna need a, a medium or a large bike versus a small bike. Um, if you're gonna be on roads only or a mountain bike, if you're gonna be doing trails, you need a different type of bike. So I can't, it doesn't matter what kind of bike I have. If you want a bike, go to your local bike store, be fitted for a bike, speak to an expert. So that is what I do to stay fit and to stay in shape. So what I'm gonna do now is hop in the shower. I'm gonna order my breakfast while I hop in the shower. So you will see a little bit of what I eat. I recommend not following <laughs> like what people eat. Um, I've made it my business not to record those types of videos like what I eat in a day and all of that because everyone's different. Genetics come into play hugely. Um, I want you guys to know that someone's physique, 50% of the time it has, I would even say 75% of the, of the time it has to do with genetics and sometimes those are not things you can change. So following exactly what someone eats based on how they look is just ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, but I will show you what I eat. I eat a lot of protein, I eat a lot of greens. I don't eat a lot of processed foods. For me, that's anything that comes in a bag or a box. Chips, cookies, anything in a bag or a box processed, I try and stay away from. Uh, and I don't drink soda or sweet drinks. I save my calories for coffee, water, and champagne. <laughs> That's what I live by, coffee, water, and champagne. So I'm gonna call, get some breakfast sent over. I'm gonna shower. I'll show you guys what products I use in the shower for my skin. I, I do, uh, and I know people point this out, it's so annoying, but I have back knee. It's actually pretty good right now um, but there's things that I do for my skin for the skin on my legs to keep my skin nice and smooth and hydrated and youthful and so I'll show you guys my uh, shower routine my after shower shower routine like the lotions and things that I use um, and then throughout the day I'll show you what I do for my face and then my nighttime skincare routine because that's really what's been clearing my face up uh, okay so let's get into it Let's shower because I'm disgusted. All right, y'all. So I just got in the shower i'm going to show you the three main products i use after i work out the first one is the dove restoring coconut and cocoa bitters 24 hour <laughs> micro moisture uh what is this it's like a body wash smells incredible i mean it's number one recommended by dermatologists and it just gets my skin really soft and smelling really really great so i start with this and then I go in with this, which is new. This is Naturopathica. If you watch my vlog, uh, previously I did a massage with them. They just came out with this Manuka Honey Shower Body Exfoliator. It's clear. I want to show you guys what it looks like without me losing my towel. By the way, these waffle knit towels from Parachute Home, my absolute favorite. I think they have a good dupe on Amazon too. But this is what it looks like. It's clear. You can just see tiny bits in there that exfoliate your body. So for this, I focus on my back, my underarms, um, my under boob, and my feet. Anywhere that I need to exfoliate regularly, especially kind of where sweat builds up and you really need to clean that area after working out. I exfoliate my underarms with this every single shower, which helps with hyperpigmentation and also getting like the gook out if you use um, an aluminum based deodorant. 
so yeah, and then I cleansed my face twice. I didn't have on any makeup, so I didn't feel the need to do like my four step cleansing process. But I go in with the Lamousse Off and On Dior Cleanser. This is my favorite, favorite cleanser. It's super gentle, super mild, gets all the dick out, all of the <laughs> sweat and whatever else has come up out of your pores after working out. Uh, so I'll link these three products down below. I'm going to dry off and do my body care routine and show you guys what products I use. All right, guys, I just threw on this Skims top and these little biker shorts from, I believe, Boohoo. I'll link it down below. Now, my next step in my body routine depends on if I'm actually going somewhere that day or if I'm filming and I need to not be ashy. If I'm going out or filming and need to not be ashy, I am slathering my body in Kiehl's Cream Decor. Here it is. Screenshot it. It's the best lotion in the world. Gets rid of the ash, leaves your legs super shiny, moisturized, glistening, and beautiful. Anytime you've seen a photo of me on Instagram or a video and my legs are shining, this is what it is. Kiehl's Cream Decor. Screenshot it. Write it down, girl. There is a link down below because this is the best lotion in the world, okay? And those of you who've gotten this and can attest to that, let the other people know down in the comments. But don't forget, use my link to get it, please. Tell them that I put you on because this is the best lotion ever. We're actually not gonna put this on because I'm not going anywhere today. And I want to do something extra, you know, something extra for my body today. So I'm actually gonna dry brush. And I only do this maybe like twice a week when I'm just lying around the house, I'm not going anywhere, and I wanna pamper my skin. This is not NAD, by the way, this is actually what I do. So, I have this little brush from OC. I actually worked with them like four years ago, but they came out with this incredible line of anti-aging body balms and oils. And I love an oil and I love a balm. This is the OC Anti-Aging Body Balm. And this is the OC um, Algae Body Oil. Now I'm not gonna put on the oil, but I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna dry brush my skin with just a tiny bit of this anti-aging body balm. And this just helps with like, you know, if you get age spots, like as you get older, your skin really starts to change. Um, I'm, I'm in my 30s, but I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin from when I was in my 20s to when I was in my 30s. And if you want to prevent, and start you know stimulating your skin to make new skin and collagen start this early dry brushing is the truth in a way i've seen a complete difference in my skin so what i do i'm gonna lower you guys so you can see my legs okay hopefully you can see my legs pretty good i am straight out of the shower nothing no moisturizer nothing but you can see i have just a slight bit of a glow and i'm pretty sure that's from the dove it's a gr really great moisturizer but wait until you guys see how good my legs look after i dry brush we're gonna start with just a tiny bit like literally just a drop because too much and you're like literally oily all over your <laughs> all over your furniture for the rest of the day so i just put a little dab and i'm gonna work it in it doesn't have much of a smell I mean, it smells a little refreshing. That's about it. So you already see the shine. Y'all see it? Y'all see the difference? No shine, shining, shining. I think it's better if I position you guys like this. All right, so you see the difference between my legs. This one is already glistening and shining and you don't need a lot. So if you put too much, like I said, <laughs> you're gonna be oily all over your furniture. Just enough. Then what I do is I take my dry brush. I'll link this down below. You start low and you brush up long strokes. And what this is going to do is take off dead skin. And this also stimulates your skin, the collagen in your skin. It's like shocking your skin into <laughs> doing what it's supposed to do. And this is really great. Usually I do this naked, to be honest. And I go all the way up my leg and I also do my bum, my, my back. But for demonstration purposes, we're just doing this. And it doesn't hurt. 
but let me show you the dead skin <laughs> can you see it focus focus so I'm not sure you can see on the ends it looks a little gray that's dead skin um, so what you do is you just take this and put it over the sink it'll literally flake off if you just touch it like that um, but I'm gonna do my other leg first and this is how I have really nice legs <laughs> <laughs> I recommend dry brushing like twice a week you don't have to do it every day but it really gets there's no amount of exfoliating that can get this kind of skin off other than like dry brushing and then it also stimulates all the good things in your skin stimulates blood flow I love that for me so I'll link this down below if any of you are interested along with the Kiehl's I'm gonna go ahead and do my arms. I'm actually gonna take this these clothes off and do my whole body, but I'll link the products down below for you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that if I use the Kiehl's, the Kiehl's Cream Decor uh, Lotion doesn't have a scent, so you can mix it with your favorite oils, your favorite body oils, your favorite body creams to give it a smell if that's what you like. I normally mix mine with the J'adore Dior body cream which smells incredible it's super long lasting it's a really really great pair so i'll link the lotion down below and also the dior body cream that i put on top and also how cute is this oh it smells so good so the kills is great for layering with your favorite oils body creams but trust me this lotion is so so good and i actually prefer that it doesn't have a smell uh so down below remember i am a dior ambassador so you can use my code still 23 for a free gift with purchase over 125 dollars when you sign up for a dior account which is easy you just put in your email your information um, as you're checking out and then put in my code steel s-t-e-e-l-e 23 all capital letters this is great for mother's day too all right let's get into my face what i'm about to put on because after I cleanse, I put on nothing. My face feels super dry. My lips feel dry. Let's get it together. Okay, you're a little cricket, but hopefully you can see me in the mirror. Um, so here's a quick tip. I don't brush my teeth until after I drink my coffee <laughs> because I think it defeats the purpose of brushing your teeth because coffee stains teeth. So I drink my coffee, let the stain set, <laughs> if it's going to, and then I brush my teeth. So, and that's because I live alone. Like, I don't, I don't have a man or anything yet. So, I don't care that I don't brush my teeth until maybe 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so I usually have my coffee first thing. Now, for my teeth, to keep them nice and clean, I use two products. Actually, they're a two-on-one product. Can you see them? The first one is the Crest Fluoride Toothpaste the gum detoxifying treatment which is step one step two is the whitening gel so i brush for a minute with this and then i spit and then i brush with a minute with this and i spit and then you know i floss and i do all the things but this is what i use for my teeth because i don't know people <laughs> ask uh so here it is i'll link this down below we're gonna go ahead and get into that i have an electric toothbrush from oral b and it has a timer on it, so it's perfect. Step one. Okay, teeth are clean. Now I'm going to put some Baobab Fruit Ultra Nourishing Moisturizer on my face. This is from the brand Ustawi, Black Owned Business. I actually met the owner when I went to the JCPenney Beauty event. Um, but this has baobab fruit. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's an African super fruit. It has uh, niacinamide. I told you guys this is great for a reviving skin. Vitamin C for brightening. And vitamin E, um, an antioxidant. And to heal things. And you know, I have a few healing pimples. So I'm going to do a generous pump. Two. Warm it up in the palm of my hands. And press it into my face.
it's so moisturizing it like instantly feels like it's just giving all the moisture to my face don't forget your neck protect protect your neck okay we're gonna go in with old faithful chapstick but i like the moisturizer one that has spf 15 in it okay i forgot to show you guys my underarm routine um, I've already exfoliated while I was in the shower. Um, sometimes I use natural deodorant from Native, but lately that hasn't been working. Like I go through, I go through phases, okay, with the natural deodorants. And honestly, right now I'm on my uh, antiperspirant uh, <laughs> wave. Now there's three different types that I use depending on what I'm doing for the day. Sometimes I just don't wear deodorant at all. And I can pretty much get away with it if I'm not like exercising or if I'm just laying around the house um, or if I'm shooting. Uh, I never wear deodorant when I'm shooting outfits because I don't want to ruin the clothes before I photograph them. So I just don't wear deodorant. But I'm pretty good with just my exfoliating. Um, I don't smell. So this is a tip for exfoliating your underarms daily. Uh, but if I'm going to an event and I don't want to have like no, the caked up deodorant marks, I go in with the spray. Um, and I like this. This is great. 72 hours Dove Ultimate Dry Spray. It is dry. You spray it on and you don't see it, but it smells really good. Um, so this is my favorite for now for if I'm going to an event or I just don't want to have the underarm cakeness happening. You know, that's never cute when you have to go to the bathroom and quickly, you know, it's, it's never cute. But sometimes it's necessary. And that's where the Dove Even Tone comes in because this has vitamin B3. This is great for uh, hyperpigmentation under your arms. This has literally cleared up my dark marks under my arm. If you're looking, screenshot it. I'll link it down below. But the brand, you have to go with the Even Tone because the Even Tone is the one that restores your underarm appearance. Um, and then if I'm not really caring about that, I'll go in, if I'm just around the house and you know, I'm not doing much, um, I'll wear just the shea butter 48 hours. So <laughs> different strokes for different folks. Right now I'm working on evening the skin tone. So we're gonna go in with even tone, even though the skin under my arms is pretty good. Um, it used to be really bad, but yeah. Okay, I'll link all these down below. Okay, y'all, so this is the part of the day when I do my masking. And I've showed you guys this before. This is my skin gem. Um, it has blue light, yellow light, and red light. Blue light is for breakouts and acne. Red light is to like calm down inflamed skin and yellow light is to give you a glow. I usually do about 15 minutes of blue light and then about 10 minutes of like yellow light. I'm trying to turn this on. There's a little button here on the side. You press it and hold it for a while. And then you let it go and then you press it once red light see the red came on twice for blue light so now that I put that moisturizer on like I feel like it's gonna penetrate into the pores with this LED blue light Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes and this is the point where I kind of just like sit down and start my day it's about 10 30 right now <laughs> usually if I wasn't filming, I would already be done with this part of the day. Uh, but yeah. So this is a part of what I do for my skin. It's definitely helped my skin so much. Um, I usually do this every other day. There's no limit. Um, I think you can only do each light 15 minutes uh, at a time per day. Um, so yeah, I got this from JCPenney Beauty and it's like 80 bucks. Like <laughs> the best 80 bucks you can ever spend on yourself. Like get it. Please, I'll link it down below. All right guys, I'm gonna take my lunch on the patio, but let me show you what I got. 
I got uh, a veggie omelet, comes with sourdough bread, guacamole, and some arugula. And I also got the Welcome to Miami smoothie, which is just mango and honey and I forgot what else. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I got this from Pura Vida. Hey y'all. So it is actually a whole new day. Um, after I ate my lunch yesterday, I kind of got sucked into work emails and all kinds of things and forgot to film uh, my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm gonna go through all of the products I use at night uh, when I'm taking off my makeup and such so that you guys have that because I know you want all the skincare details. So if I'm not wearing makeup, when I cleanse my skin, I just use two products. I start with the Dior La Mousse Off On and I end with the Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. And this right here is the game changer for texture, for um, youthfulness, for a glow, for getting all the dead skin off. This is the one, game changer. Uh, now, if I am wearing makeup, I do a three-step cleansing process. I start with an oil cleanser to loosen up the makeup, really draw it out of my pores. And right now I'm loving the Chanel cleansing oil. Um, it's wonderful, it works into a lather, really pulls out the makeup. I then go in with the Dior La Mousse off and on. It's a very gentle cleanser. There's also a brightening agent to this cleanser. And then I end with the Daily Glycolic cleanser from Dermalogica, um, which is the best. Uh, so that's my three-step cleansing process, especially when I have on makeup. I make sure I get really into my hairline, my jawline, under my neck, and behind my neck as well. I also will uh, do my upper chest area. Um, maybe not with all of those, but at my final process, I will get my neck as well. So that's my cleansing. The key is to make sure you're getting off all that makeup. Do not sleep in your makeup. It's the worst thing you can do. Uh, these are the three products that are my holy grails for cleansing. I will link all three down below. And I'm thinking of incorporating the new um, glycolipid from the Ordinary Cleanser. If I'm like wearing makeup all day, I'll cleanse four times. <laughs> like really with with different products because each cleanser does different things some of them don't really work with getting the makeup off some of them are only good with not stripping the skin so like you have to really see what your cleansers are actually doing but I definitely recommend using some kind of oil cleanser if you're taking off makeup and starting with that because that will also help to get like eye makeup and such off now, after I cleanse my skin, I go in with a little bit of the Ordinary Glycolic Toner with a cotton pad and just gently tap the product into my skin and I let that dry. Then kind of depending what I have going on with my skin, I'll kind of tailor whatever else I put on that night. But I always love using a little bit of niacinamide, 10% zinc, 1% also from The Ordinary. I'll just put a few drops on my face, especially where I have hyperpigmentation, which is for me, on my forehead and on my cheeks, and I rub it in for about a minute. Um, the zinc is good with uh, diminishing blemishes, as well as the niacinamide. Um, it's basically a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. And again, you guys know the Ordinary products are just incredible. They're very, very affordable. And this has the highest concentration of niacinamide, 10% that I've seen in any skincare product. And it's less than what, 20 bucks? Incredible. I'll link this down below. This is what's been a game changer for me when it comes to um, blemishes and hyperpigmentation. Um, sorry, my phone is going off. It's, my food has arrived. Um, one second. Okay, so then if I have any active pimples, I'll put a little bit of the Ordinary um, Salicylic 2% Acid Solution. For me, I found that 2% is around a good percentage for me. 
Um, normally I get a lot of congestion around my ears. So I'll just put a tiny drop around my ears and again rub in for about a minute. I am a huge advocate for the one minute <laughs> method where you're really getting into your skin for one minute and massaging and getting the product in. Uh, the glycolic toner does a good job at kind of opening your pores and readying your skin for any kind of serums that you use. So yeah, I'll put this like if I have a breakout, I'll just put this directly on the breakout and rub it in. Um, after which, I'll go through and put on a little bit of hyaluronic acid. Uh, this is like a youth serum. It makes your skin youthful, glowy, plump. This also helps with deep lines. I wish I had a before video, but I have two lines here on my neck and they used to be very prominent. And then I started using this every night on my neck just a few drops and massaging up for about a minute. And it's made such a huge difference. I also use this on my laugh lines. Um, I mean, I, I, I wanna look like I laugh, but it's also just plumped up that area and just made my whole face a little more like supple. Uh, hyaluronic acid is that girl. This has 2% um, and it's vegan, which is amazing and it's formulated it's ultra pure it also has uh, vitamin b5 i love this stuff so this i kind of finished with i put a little bit on my cheeks around my nasal folds on my chin and on my neck and kind of just rub it in and then finally i finished with a retinol serum now i don't use all of these things every night uh, but it's just really kind of tailoring it every night to what i know my skin needs the most for that day but I do have a retinol treatment. Retinol, you need it. Anti-aging, uh, wrinkles, fine lines, just giving you useful, supple, beautiful, even toned skin. Uh, and this one that I use is from Eve Loam. I went to a uh, an event with them not too long ago and they gifted us all of these products. And I have been using this serum and it is incredible. I think this is one of their best sellers, you guys. I'm gonna link this down below because she's the one. Uh, this is the best retinol serum that I've ever used. It has, it doesn't really have a smell. It's very light. It just sucks into your skin. And I feel like it just pulls my whole nighttime skincare routine together. All right guys, so I hope that was helpful. Um, that is it for this video. I've shown you guys my body routine for my body skin, my skincare routine you see what i eat you see how i work out um the beginning of this video was just like a fashion video um you saw a lot in today's video um i have linked everything down below for you guys in the description box so make sure to check that out use my links if you enjoyed today's video give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video um yeah and thank you to all of the new subscribers i've been getting a ton of new subscribers so i'm very grateful to have you all but i'm also equally grateful for you who have been rocking with me for years okay um i'm about to get my hair done we're heading to la soon there's a fashion video coming soon an la vlog and a new york vlog and finally my birthday vlog so look out for that guys thank you so much for watching thumbs up Subscribe, click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.